How's it going everyone? Alright, time for the most important section of your pre-trip inspection. In cab. Um, everything up to this point, you can miss points on, get wrong, and still pass the test. Now you part, your, the part you cannot mess up on is your air brake test, which is a part of your in cab. If you forget to do your air brake test and tell your examiner you're all done, you will auto fail and have to come back the next day and do your pre-trip all over again. So this is why this is the most important section and gets a lot of people in trouble. So when I get to the air brake test, I'll just make sure I slow down and explain it so that way you guys know what's going on. Alright. Um, starting your in-cab inspection. First thing you're going to start with is your seat belt. Go ahead and put it on. Prop it on secured. Not cut, ripped, or frayed. Properly adjust and latches. Um, next you go to your fire extinguisher, which I can't show you at the second. It's right behind my seat. I just pointed to them. And then point underneath your bunk. I've got three red reflective triangles underneath my bunk. I got spare electric fuses in the glove box. Don't have to show them, just point them, tell them where it's at. I do have spares in there. Then from there, you're gonna go into your safe start, which I trust. You got the alarm code again, I'm looking away so you guys don't see my alarm code all over the internet. Went to the alarm code in, turn the key on, point to your ABS lights, they come on and go off. Indicating that there's no problem. Uh, side topic of that different noises you guys hear is part of our lane departure warning system. It's camera right up, the gray one right there. It senses the lines. Every time you turn the truck on and off, that thing goes off for its calibrating. So, alright, back on tracks. So, after you point out your ABS lights come on and go off, indicating there's no problem with the ABS. Make sure your transmission's in neutral. Fully depress the clutch. Start the truck. From there, you're going to go into the volt. Find your voltmeter. My truck on a, it's a 2016 Cascadia as Evolution. The voltmeter's actually in here, but it's not showing right this second. So you got to hit the plus a couple of times to get to it. There it is, battery, telling how many volts. So you go, my alternator is charging between 13 and 14 volts. Water temperature, building to normal operating range. Oil pressure, building to normal, op or rising to normal operating range, or building for that, doesn't really matter. Got my primary and secondary air gauges. Building to governor cutout of 120 to 125 PSI. I like to take care of all my dash stuff while I'm right here. So then I'm going to go into my light indicators. Left turn signal, right turn signal. Four ways. And high beam. Come across for turn on heat. Heat and defrost. So you gotta put it, select it over to the frost. High fan heat. Put your hand up here. Feel, make sure it's working. So the frost is working. Put it down to feet. Put your hand down underneath here. Feel for it. Heat's working. Now, unless you want to roast, turn it back off. So heat and defrost. So that takes care of everything across my gauges, come out, do my windshield and mirrors, prop them out and secure, not cracked, bent or broken, um, clean, free of obstructions, so if your trainer's got a GPS like this, it's got to come down before you can do your test, same thing as if you are got your CB mic hanging in the way, that's got to come down and out of the way, should be all taken care of before you take your test, and mirrors are in proper adjustment. All right, gonna move on to our windshield wipers. Hit your spray. All you do is push in on here. So, front mount secured, operates smoothly. Windshield blades are not 
um, cut, ripped, or dry rotted. Uh, the only thing left you got to do before you start doing brake checks is your city horn. I'll uh, press down here. I'm not going to do it because I'm parked next to another truck. So city horn, air horn. Hold on on this. From there, going to go into our parking brake test. To press the clutch, I'm going to go into second gear. Into second gear. Now the truck, the way I had to have it sitting right now, if you look, my tractor brakes are set, my trailer brakes are released. I'm not going to switch them yet, I'm going to do it right off the list. So I will set my tractor brakes, release my trailer brakes, and do a slight tug against my tractor. All I do is just light up with the clutch a little bit, the truck starts to lean, I back, put the clutch back in, in case you your trailer, your tractor brakes held. Now I will set my trailer brakes, release my tractor brakes by pushing them in, and do a slight tug against my tractor. Again, same thing, just do put, slowly let up the clutch, make sure it holds, holds, push clutch back in, indicating that trailer brakes are working. Alright, now you go into your parking brake check, so, or your service brake test. I'm going to release both my brakes, pull forward to 5 miles per hour, gently apply at the brakes, make sure the truck does not pull left or right. So I'm not going to quite go up to 5 just because I'm in the middle of a truck stop. So just pull up, get up to 5, press the clutch in, gently apply the brakes. The truck did not pull left or right. Now I'm going to back up a little bit so, so I'm not in everyone's way. Normally you just you'd stay right here for your test. So back back into my parking spot, wait for everyone, put it back in second gear where I was at. So this is what you'd be looking at where you're you just completed your, pretend we just completed the service brake test. We're out of either a parking spot, out in the middle, but as again, I don't want to block everyone's way. So right now, both my brakes are released. Truck's in gear, foot's on the brake, foot's on the clutch. So what you all you want to do right now is move your left hand down, turn the truck off. Home, messaging. Turn it back on. You want to make sure you turn it back to the on position. You know you did that by getting that, that, those sounds. And your gauges fluctuate. So then what you're going to want to do is take your foot off the clutch first. Foot off the brake. The reason why you can do that is your truck's in gear. You're not going to move anywhere. So, <clears throat> alright. Stage one of air brake test. Again, this is the very, very very important part of your test if you get this wrong you got three stages to go through if you get any of them wrong it's an auto fail you will be coming back on your pre-trip again so I'll make sure I take my time and explain this to you guys so stage one is, is um, your applied pressure test so while you are what you gotta do is while you're telling the examiner he will be sitting in the passenger seat is I will fully depress my service brake so you can do it while you're telling this wait for my and I mean fully put it all the way to the floor you're gonna get a nice strong leg doing this wait for my primary and secondary air gauges to stabilize then I should should not lose more than four psi in one minute while listening for leaks make sure your gauges are stabilized and then ask the examiner to please time you so he'll time you, keep an eye on your gauges, make sure you're not leaking. And what he's going to look at, this gauge here, is your applied pressure gauge to your brakes. So I've got over 100 PSI, he's making sure I'm applying more than 100 PSI to the brakes. This was only showing like 40 PSI and I've got over 100 in here, then I'm not fully to press the brakes, then you'd auto fail. So, as I said, hold it to the floor. 
tell you. All right, your mat's up. I like to repeat what I just tested, so I did not lose more than four PSI in one minute, and I did not hear any air leaks. Now I'm going into my stage two of my air brake test, which is my pump down until my warning light and buzzer come on at or before 60 PSI. So all you do is just fan down your service brakes. Hope I don't upset these guys too much. So my warning light and buzzer came on at or before 60 PSI. So now on to my third stage of my air brake test is I will continue to fan my service brakes until both my tractor protection valves, my trailer and tractor valves pop out between 40 and 20 PSI. Keep your hands here, you don't want to touch them. Just keep fanning your service brakes down and watch your valves. Trailer just popped out. Keep popping down until both of them pop out. Tractor just popped out. So both my tractor protection valves popped out between 40 and 20 PSI. That completes my air brake. Now if there's any point during that you know you messed up, all you got to do is start over from the beginning. So what you have to do is go into your safe start, start on red from your from the beginning. Um, you guys have any questions about any of that, feel free to give me a shout. My email is primedriverjacob at gmail.com or get a hold of me on Facebook at Prime Driver Jacob. I hope that explains that for you guys. If, if there's any parts that are questionable, feel free to comment and I'll try and straighten them up for you guys. Alright, everyone stay safe and good luck.